Hello friends, here in this video, we will see what is meant by strength of transverse fillet weld. In this year, I would be deriving a formula of strength. Strength means load carrying capacity for a transverse fillet weld. But for that purpose, I'll have to draw a diagram. So let us get started. Here I am having two plates, one is the upper plate and other is the lower plate. Now these two plates they are connected with the help of A welded joint here this indicates the joint that it is welded now when these two plates are connected there will be force acting on the upper plate Next, force acting on the lower plate. Because of the action of these two forces, this joint it can break. Now, for this joint, we need to know that how much value of load this joint can resist. And that is nothing but the strength of transverse fillet weld. For this fillet weld, we should know how much is the load carrying capacity. So what we can do here is I'll assume that this thickness of the plate is S and similarly upper plate will also have the same thickness so here I'll say that first of all let S be the thickness of plate in mm next after this I'll say that L be the length of weld this will also be in mm now this joint which we are saying which is the welded joint I can simplify this that is here it is having a diagram like this now what we can do here is join these two points so that we get a right angle triangle and here I'll call it as triangle ABC this extra portion is nothing but it is called as reinforcement This is the reinforcement which is provided for added strength. So when we are analyzing the transverse fillet weld, we need to know that here there is a right angle triangle. Now this triangle has two sides. One is AB. Next is BC. both of them are of same height that is S which we can call it as the plate thickness now from B I will draw a perpendicular line on this hypotenuse AC this hypotenuse where it meets the hypotenuse this perpendicular I will call it as M next angle BAM that will be equal to 45 degree now this distance BM is called as throat thickness I'll write down BM it is called as throat thickness and throat thickness is the minimum thickness I'll write down that it is 
मिनिमम थिकनेस इन द वेल्ड सो वेन वी हैव दिस मिनिमम थिकनेस एंड दिस थिकनेस वुड बी कैरिंग ऑन अप टू द एंटायर लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ वेल्ड इज एल सो आई विल बी गेटिंग एन एरिया नाउ दिस इज द एरिया ऑन विच वेल्डिंग इज डन वेर आई एल सी दैट this is t throat thickness and here we have length of weld so this is the minimum area now remember that either we talk about welded joint or we talk about any object it will always fail at the minimum area in a welded joint minimum area will be at the throat because at throat the thickness is minimum so therefore minimum area at the throat that will be a is equal to t into l now how to get t here if we can see in this triangle amb which i can draw it here in an enlarged way this is a mb now this bm indicates the throat thickness t ab indicates the thickness of plate which is s this angle is 45 degree so from this i can say that since sin 45 degree is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse opposite is t hypotenuse is s so therefore t is equal to sin 45 into s so finally t will be sin 45 is 0.707 into s so we can put this value of t to get the minimum area so i'll say that therefore minimum area of weld capital a that will be equal to t which is 0.70 0.707 s multiplied by the length of weld l now after getting this minimum area i can say that therefore the tensile strength because transverse fillet weld is subjected to tensile load so tensile strength of transverse fillet weld it will be given by p is equal to area multiplied by tensile stress so therefore p will be equal to area is 0.707 s multiplied by l into sigma t this i'll keep it as equation number 1 now your i'll say that in equation number 1 equation 1 gives the strength or load carrying capacity of single transverse fillet weld now suppose we have another fillet weld at the bottom like i can mark it here that here there is another fillet weld 
So I'll say that after this for double transverse fillet weld area will be twice of throat thickness multiplied by L that is the previous area which we were getting as T into L here since we would be using two fillet transverse fillet weld so area is 2 into T into L so this will be 2 into T is 0.707 S multiplied by L so hence area will be 1.414 S into L this is the area which we will get for double transverse fillet weld after this we can say that therefore strength or load carrying capacity of double transverse fillet weld that load carrying capacity will be denoted by P and again this will be sigma T into A that is tensile stress into area because transverse fillet weld they are subjected to tensile load so therefore P is equal to area first I will write down 1.414 into S multiplied by L into sigma t this I'll keep it as equation number 2 so therefore from equation number 2 strength of double transverse fillet weld can be found out so here in this video we have seen how to know, calculate or how to derive the formula of strength of transverse fillet weld we had started it from a diagram we had seen what is meant by throat thickness which is the minimum thickness then minimum area which is throat thickness into L so after getting this area we had even converted the value of T in the form of S so T was 0.707 S with the help of this diagram it was explained then finally we were getting minimum area of weld then tensile strength of transverse fillet weld which was single so here in equation 1 we were getting the strength equation for load carrying capacity of single transverse fillet weld and similarly we had gone on to deriving the area and the formula for double transverse fillet weld so in this video we have seen how to get the strength of transverse fillet weld